I was on socials one day and I uh, got a message on Instagram and it kind of read, hi mate, I like what you've, you've been doing. Is there any way I can help you? And uh, it was from Paul Davis, uh, director at Tables Business. That was just like, wow, like a, a stranger willing to help you kind of thing. So yeah, that was it. And I met him six weeks later and it was just like straight energy vibes. It was very informal. And yeah, it just went from there. He's such a bubbly character. He's infectious personality. Um, and I remember we went for, because obviously Shane was a vegan and I love me. So we went to a, a vegan curry house and we sat down for about four hours just talking about, you know, stuff. And he was very, very thankful for, for what I'd done. And I'd only done, you know, I think I'd been with him for sort of seven months. So that, that is how we first met. It was kind of like a, through social media. The first time meeting him was just such a lovely guy. Um, so humble in what he was doing um, and just such a nice person to be around. And I think that, that warmth and energy is something that you gravitate to. And, um, you know, that's made our relationship grow stronger over the time we've been working together. Of course, it just won the, the British. So in terms of progress, I want to win it outright. And um, that requires me to fight three times, defend it three times. So obviously there's a progress of a uh, European Commonwealth and then ultimately the world stage but who would be the three people you'd like to defend against? I don't care I don't really that's not the game I'm in, I come from the, the Olympic um, amateur pedigree level and if there was a fight to come along I know Chef would always be ready for that fight and it's very similar to the way we are you know, we, we work long hours um, but we work smart as well the rewards come with that you know, so you do get rewarded um, if you do put the effort in. So, yeah, we definitely share those values. Um, important question. Once I've collected and amassed all of these belts, I'm gonna need a space to, you know, mount them on in my humble abode. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, make sure that you have a nice little thing designed for me. We can smoke. Do trophy cabinet. Yeah. I don't even want it to be a cabinet because everybody's got a cabinet. I just want something a little bit different, you know. But um, yeah, it's good to know that I got you guys ready and set to, to handle that. Ready to go. The design <laughs> yeah. team's ready to go. Ready to go. We did a, a coffee table for Arsenal Football Club, and it was basically a football pitch, and we made um, into a coffee table, and they were rattling it. Um, and all the players signed the whole way round, and they asked myself and Dan to come along to the presentation. Now, myself being a Liverpool fan and Dan being a Man United fan, we declined the offer, and they couldn't believe that we declined it. They said we're going to meet all the players, and we went, no, we're fine. And also telling Shave on that story, um, he was fuming because obviously he just stood in for us, definitely. My favourite piece in the showroom is definitely in the boardroom. Um, I love the boardroom table. You've got basically the veneer that spans round. It's a fume stained oak, which for me is one of the best colours. It's one of my favourites, real warm, rich colour. Um, but obviously also the matching um, uh, cabinet that goes with it that houses that beautiful uh, Samsung wall screen. Yeah, you know, that's an interesting. Yeah. And I know if we bring any architect, designers, anyone like that that comes into that room and we show them that, we know they're going to look at it and go, these guys are very, very good at what they do. One of, one of our best collaborations is with Samsung and they have put a few pieces into the showroom, which has really helped us as a brand to, to grow. Um, and they've got a rotating screen to enable you to switch between your phone and, and the TV landscape and portrait. It's a phenomenal piece of kit. Um, it gets a lot of attention every time we do showroom tours around here and really enhances the other products that we're trying to sell. So I think I would definitely say that. It's the, the half centre table. That is unbelievable. One, because Arsenal's change so is very much designed the same. So Go to Arsenal again. Uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to go into an office, it used to be just a chair at a table. The table used like, to be a top and four legs. And literally. It's, 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 it's crazy. not anymore. So yeah, that's my favourite piece. When I, when I get a bit older, I guess some kids can have them all sitting at the table. And when I'm talking, they will be yeah, a They're all listening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about your design, Chef? Because one thing I've noticed is certainly your kit. The shorts, you know, the, the kind of tops that you wear, you know, you, everyone's different. You've always got homage to Jamaica, which which I love. In terms of the design, I have a great um, K 
kit designer. Shout out to Fire Label. She'll call me on the phone, she'll be like, um, do you want satin? Do you want this? And I'm like, I don't know, what, what do you think? <laughs> You're the pro. Yeah, yeah, and, she, and she works with the highest of highest athletes. So my kids have been A1 ever since. Mm -hmm. um, not biased, but you know, other than JB, I think I am probably the best kid in the game. <laughs> the fact that he won the British title for me was incredible. Um, I got to go into the change rooms after and sit there and kind of absorb all that atmosphere, and but also help him celebrate that win with him. Um, we sort of, so I stayed with him, we went back to the hotel where he was greeted by all his fans, which was really lovely to see. It's a life friendship, um, you know, uh, like I know Paul's um, family, Dan, the whole wider team, do you know what I mean? So it's more than just a, a transaction, which is very important for me. Both all of this sponsorship and all of this um, work we do together all comes down to to, to Chev winning fights, and that's that's what we're we're going towards. So I think being there on the match day to to watch him to watch him win is is what it's all about, and there's nothing better.